solve routine or non-routine problems involving addition and subtraction of decimal, including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. Our reference for this is the curriculum guide, page 150 of 1257, Math, page 128, reference, Century Math Leads 5, pages 119 and 121. Have you experienced buying in a store? Can you tell something about the picture? What have you seen in this picture? Do you love chocolates? We have a problem here. Mike buys an assorted box of chocolates that contains 18.61 ounces of dark chocolate and 37.23 ounces of milk chocolate. How, the, how much does, do the chocolates weigh in total? If Mike's money is 500 peso bill, it will pay worth 365 and 45 centavos to the cashier. How much will be his change? It's problem number two. Let's find out how to solve this problem of decimal numbers including money. Let's find out if what we are going to do Then analyze the problem. What is asked in the problem? What are given facts? What word clue help you solve the problem? What operation is to be used? And write your answer on the board. Next, get your meta card, solve the given word problem, say group. What are the things to remember in performing an activity? Now, after the presentation, how did you finish this task? Now, let's summarize the lesson. How do you solve word problems involving addition, subtraction of decimal numbers? Then key if the steps in solving word problem and adding and subtracting decimal numbers. Okay, we have no's. Solve this problem in your notebook. I give you time to solve the problem. Time's up. Are you done? Now, let's proceed to the evaluation. As your formative test, get up this paper and answer the following problems about subtraction and addition of decimal numbers. If you are done, let's check your answers. Okay, good job guys. See you tomorrow for the next lesson.